Welcome to my box. This is one of two battery packs going into the new electric turbo setup. This one is capable by itself of 70,000 watts, 70 kilowatts peak output. It can probably actually do a little bit more than that. These cells are capable of over 2,000 amps peak and uh, 900 amps continuous. This pack is currently charged to approximately 35 volts where I'll probably be running it because two packs in series will give me uh, 70 volts. I was going to make a two-pack joke, but I chose not to. Let me give you a little bit of a tour here. Uh, so there are eight cells here, four on top, four on the bottom. There's two cells on top here, obviously, but there's four on the bottom as well for a total of 14 cells. This is the balance board and it's currently balancing. It balances all the time. So it does draw a little bit of power off the pack continuously. There's a, a pad where I could wire a switch into if I chose to, but I don't think I'm going to. In fact, let me see if I turn off the lights, you can probably see a faint glow of that LED. That means it, it is actively balancing. Uh, and the balance board does a good job. Unfortunately, the other balance board I got didn't work. So this one does work. Um, what else can I tell you about this thing? Uh, when I was assembling it before I put this uh, foam separator in, which by the way is neoprene foam and neoprene foam, this is actually a cutting mat, a plastic cutting mat, because I wanted basically no chance of these cells touching these cells. So I figured that was the safest way to go. And the neoprene foam, by the way, is a yoga mat. And it's, it's just all kinds of different foam. I think uh, these are uh, like floor pad pieces of foam. But, you know, this took a long time. I took uh, about two weeks to charge and test each cell uh, to pick the strongest ones. You know, you got to kind of thin the herd somehow. It took me even like three days just to make all the bus bars. I've made something like 30 of these things. Uh, they're precisely made. The, the hole spacing is very precise. This uh, hole in the middle uh, is threaded. So that's where the balance board wires attach to. This, by the way, is just kind of loose in here. But when, when it's closed, it doesn't move. Uh, and it also doesn't get hot. So there's no concerns about that. Um, what else? Let's see. I'll try to just give you a little bit of a tour as best as possible around my messy desk. But hey, this is what life looks like, people. Not the dressed up prettiness that you see all the time. This is reality. So I have two gauge cable coming out. It comes out to this Anderson connector here. Uh, to give you a point of reference, let me grab a, another connector. The biggest connectors we used in the old setup, the one that made 650 horsepower, was that big compared to the Anderson connector. I mean, you can almost slide this into one pole. So we're clearly stepping up to the big leagues. It is our turn at bats. And as long as we live, no, I'm not going there. Um, Believe it or not, I just rewatched an episode of The Jeffersons. So let me do a quick voltage test. Let's take a look. Let's see where we're at. We charged this thing up to 35 volts yesterday, 35 exactly. Uh, there, like I said, there's a little bit of current draw and the cells will settle just a little bit. And we are currently at 34.83. Uh, let's see how balanced the cells are. This will, you know, give us evidence that the balancer actually works quite well. Let's go ahead and put this in a slightly better spot, but it's still at the very edge of the frame, but it'll have to do. All right, this one's backwards, but it's 2.485. Helps if I actually touch the cell. 2 2.485. 2.485. 2.485. Oh! <laughs> a little uh, uppity cell there at 2.487 and 2.485. So it, the, the ones on the bottom, I'm not going to, you know, try to get these probes in there right now, but, but it's all pretty consistent. I have gone through and checked them all. So we were within what, you know, two thousandths of a volt balanced. That's pretty darn good. So all has not been quiet on the Western front. Uh, we've been busy doing this. I've got all the parts ready to go to build the second pack. I'm going to have to build my own load tester. I want to load test this thing uh, before it gets in the car because, you know, 130 miles an hour with a trunk on fire above the gas tank is not my idea of a good time. But I appreciate you stopping by and 
coming in my box. Don't forget to ring the bell and subscribe.